Good morning. I have everybody on mute because I've uh, learned my lesson all these times. Some of you will hear some interesting things. I've got 929, so we'll give it a minute or so to get people on. I don't have any more text. I think everybody else is, if they're going to join, hopefully they figured out we're using um, passwords these days. Let's see, let's see, still 929. So welcome to Monday's 9.30 call, and it's still only 9.29. See my else is in the waiting room. Not yet. Well, I got 9.30, good morning. We will get this um, puppy started. So we always start with our little motivational quote. So today, and I put this on my personal Facebook today, normally I give us different ones. Um, you know, think about, I always say that as real estate agents, we're ambassadors for our community. So we need to think about how we can promote the positive because um, if you're in Jacksonville or Gainesville or Miami or wherever you are, um, or if you're listening from somewhere else, then, um, you know, there's always crime and negative things happening, especially there's unemployment, um, there's all kinds of challenges we're all going through. So um, not to dismiss that or to ignore it, but let's just be the positivity people as uh, licensed real estate agents for our community. So start thinking about um, things that you can do to promote the good things. For instance, our zoo opened up, um, was it this past weekend or last weekend? Um, we've got some drive-in movie theaters coming back and parking lots of malls and things like that. So that's the kind of information we can disperse to promote goodness in the community. So last week, we asked, um, we had a whole little page on, you know, what will you do to create business? Um, this was again last Monday, and I had a list of ideas to help you um, get the conversation started, give you ideas on who to contact, why to contact, and um, obviously we keep that in our database and keep it on a list. So just curious, um, hopefully people follow through on that. So my question is, um, for those of you that were on last week, what progress did you make? So for example, how many contacts did you make? And of course, in real estate, a contact isn't just, hey man, how you doing, how's your life? A contact is a two-way meaningful conversation about real estate. So maybe you can start with, hey man, how are things going? Um, things still good with the job? Um, did your family stay healthy? You know, did you get your, um, your bike ride in every day this week? Um, those kind of things. And then you, then you can slowly segue into some kind of real estate conversation. So that is a real estate contact. And of course, um, we're not trying to sell ourselves or ask everybody, you know, what, um, it, oh my God, are you ready to sell your house? But the whole point is just to stay top of mind. And then ideally you always want in the conversation with, so who do you know that may be ready? Because I don't really, my personal opinion is I don't want us bragging that the real estate market is awesome right now. It is good in many ways. And the fact that um, interest rates are stupid low, inventory is really low. So if the house is priced well and a good, um, in, in good condition, then there's likely multiple offers. Um, however, we need to be cognizant of the fact that um, unemployment by the end of the month in about a week, week and a half is probably going to be looking like 25%. So one in every four Americans will be jobless. So it's not a good housing market for them. So be careful how you craft the conversation. Don't come across as a cheesy salesperson. We need to be um, compassionate about uh, where people are in their life. Maybe they really don't need to be having a real estate conversation right now. Or maybe the conversation needs to go in a whole different direction where you talk to them about ways they can um, keep their mortgage payments current or maybe refinance and that has nothing to do with you selling their home. So anyway, how many leads did you get last week from those calls or those texts or those emails that you sent out? Um, how many listing appointments or buyer appointments did you get scheduled? Did you create? How many listings did you get in writing on paper and how many buyer con contracts did you write? Offers and or all the way to the contract. That is all we need to focus on, the foundation of real estate every day, every week. Business tips. 
So the commitment last week was to spend some time with RPR. For those of you that weren't on, that's Realtor Property Resource. I know that we can access it as one of the tools through our Flex MLS program. Um, if you're with other MLS programs around the state or the country, because it's a national um, database that we all have access to through the National Association of Realtors. So, um, if so, my question is: Did you um, did you get familiar with it? And it is an, a fabulous um, CMA tool, and you can also do some prospecting with it as well. So hopefully you did that. So this week's challenge is, are you familiar with the um, NAR MVP rewards? So I get those offers through my email. So you have to have your profile up to date through NAR. Make sure that you um, are getting alerts and notifications through your profile page. So that's this week's challenge because moving on to that same concept, um, through the NAR right here, right now tools, I've promoted this for a few weeks now, it expires May 31st in like a week and a half. There's tons of free webinars, free education, free things on there that you can get um, right now through the Realtor store. So for those of you that weren't on before, remember I got my ePro, um, I took the 12 hour CE course um, and it's already been applied to my um, Florida real estate license record. Um, so that is free. It's normally like $150 or something crazy, I don't remember. Now, if you want the actual certification so that you can use those little initials behind your name and promote yourself on your business cards and social media as an ePro certified agent, that is a one-time fee. It's normally, I think, 150 bucks as well. And then it's 50% off, so it's 75 bucks. So you can take the course for CEs, 12 hours of CEs for free. And then if you wanna take it one step further and get the actual certification, that's 75 bucks. And then the Pricing Strategies Advisor course, um, this is another CE course, it's either four or six hours, and it's free. And then again, if you want the actual certification, it's another NAR certification, use those little initials behind your name that the public knows nothing about anyway, then that is some kind of one-time fee. So I have completed the ePro, I have signed up for the PSA, but have not taken it. So that's where I am on that one. And don't forget, if your license was up for renewal March um, 31st, it was originally postponed um, for like 30 days. And then a, the new executive order came out, or the most current one they were under. Um, if somehow you missed that one too, the good news is they postponed license renewals that were supposed to be for March 31st for May 31st. Bad news is if you're a new agent and you need to post licensing, you better buckle down and start right now because that is still a 45-hour course. If you need your 14 hours, then easy breezy, you have like another 10 days or so to get that done. And just a quick reminder, I do own a real estate school licensed through DBPR. So you can take any course that you want. Um, right here's the um, link to um, the website. It's all online, it's self-study, it's recorded. I, it has nothing to do with me other than I am the authorized legal real estate instructor slash provider. So I didn't write the content. I'm just the one legally liable to make sure that um, your course completion gets reported to the state. There's also like three or four free um, webinars on there as well if you're interested on different um, professional development topics. So back to realtor.org. I know so many people don't use this and, and yet they complain about the dues. There is a smorgasbord of uh, materials and education and things that we can use to help us in our business all the way down to buyer presentations, FISBO scripts, anything in the world through um, realtor.org or NAR membership. So um, I said I got the little email about my latest um, MVP reward. I think you get one every month. And basically they ask you to do some small little task and then you get something for free. For example, maybe you take a quick little survey or they say if you'll watch this quick 10 minute video, then you'll get this. So for example, um, but it's not on here, but the invitation I got was something about um, virtual tours, six steps to virtual tours or whatever. What I did download, I've already downloaded the, um, this is in a small print, it's a social media guide. Right now it's free. It's normally 20 bucks, but it is free if you'll just log into the Realtor store with your um, NAR registration number right here. Um, so that's a huge guide downloaded on my computer to help you with one of the ways to help you with social media. 
And this to me is just like a, a golden nugget. Um, every year they create this huge report of um, profiling, they call it, demographics, statistics on home buyers and sellers. What do they look like? What's their median age? What are the things they're looking for in a realtor? What are the um, features they want in a home? I mean, it's just a huge, huge book of information every year. And if you will notice this, it's normally $150. And right now, for a short period of time, we can get it for free. So I made sure I downloaded that. So here's the cover page. It was, I don't know, 50 or 60 some pages. So I'm very excited to go through that. Um, that is something, if you will use tools like this, that is a great source of content for you to do live Facebook videos. And again, if you'll also study it, it's a great source of information to have intelligent conversations at your buyer consultations and, and your seller presentations. So heads up on some of this free stuff. So some other resources. Do you know how to check if a condo is FHA approved or VA? And did you know that we have access to a free tech hotline, even on, yes, your free, um, I mean, your personal laptop. And we have information to a free legal hotline. And yes, that would be attorneys. So here's the scoop on this stuff. So, and I do this um, anytime I'm uh, selling a condo, so that that's something, because I see so many mistakes in MLS, people are advertising condos, cash, FHA, VA, and half the time or more, they're not eligible for FHA or VA on the condo, and then the listing agent looks stupid and they've wasted people's time as well. So if you're going to be a smart listing agent and you're gonna list a condo, my advice is you go check these two lists before you put a mistake in MLS, which you could be fined for, by the way, that it's eligible for FHA or VA. And that also, if that goes too far down the road, that opens you up to a lawsuit personally and against your brokerage as well. So why not do the right thing up front? So it's super easy. Um, I've done it for the past several condos I've sold, um, obviously, because um, through the years, the list got smaller and smaller. These eligibilities expire. They're certificates handed out by HUD and, and the VA. So it's not like a forever thing. So you might think, or you might have sold a home, a condo a few years ago that was FHA approved, and it is no longer the case. So, and there's also, um, Jamie Zietz also teaches a condo class that I took last fall that has very good up-to-date information. He teaches it regularly now. And there, it is possible to get like, just like one condo FHA approved in a community. But you'll, I'll defer you to the lenders for that information. But here's a good place to start if you're gonna list a condo. If it's not currently, if that condo community, that phase, phase one might be approved and phase two might not be, just heads up on that as well. But to be a prudent realtor, you need to be sure that you're listing things appropriately and getting out correct information to other agents and the public. Tech helplines, here's the number here, and I took this straight from the website. So I'm talking about, I mean, they'll answer anything. It's like our own little personal geek squad. So here's the hours and here's the number, and um, you'll probably have to verify that you're a realtor through your um, license number or something. The um, Florida Realtors Legal Hotline, um, they have um, set hours as well. You definitely, have to verify your identity with either your Florida real estate license number or your NERDS number, your national realtor um, database number. Um, that's like a nine digit number or so. I memorized mine because I've had it for freaking 20 years. But they, and then they will go look up to make sure that you are currently an active and legally licensed agent before they'll take your answers. But they will answer just about anything. You just have to wait in the queue to get on, you know, obviously on the call. But we have a bunch of um, attainers in the state, a bunch of attorneys on retainer um, to help us out with these um, real estate questions. And if it's more of a, um, a, a true concern, like a, you know, a public safety concern, or if it's something that could be a crime or something, then they'll just refer you to the right folks. But for stuff on contracts, um, leases, um, situations, um, they'll help you out. Social media tips. I've been preaching this to you guys. 
videos, 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 videos. We know this, right? And nobody wants to do a video. Nobody wants to do a little mugshot on social media. Trust me, I get it. I don't either. However, if those of you or those of you that are on my social media know that I do practice it. Um, I tr I'm trying to do at least one a week. I did one this past Saturday, a quick little video. Um, impromptu, I was getting ready to go on my bike ride. I wasn't even in professional clothes. So um, I think it was, I don't know, it was certainly under three minutes, a couple of minutes or something in regards to, there's gonna be a lot of mortgage fraud going on. Um, now that you know people are, are gonna be in default on their mortgages, we're gonna see a lot of the scams come back, the contract for deed, where people try to get people to deed their homes over to them. And they claim that they'll get them up right, they'll make the mortgage payment for them, and they don't, they cash the payments. And the next thing you know, the people go into foreclosure and then the little scam artist has the deed to their house, they take it over and they turn around and flip it or, or what have you. There's gonna be tons of that going on again. I uncovered a lot of that in public records um, last week while I was researching something else. So it, it certainly goes on all the time. It's just a matter of catching people and turning them in to the authorities. So um, Monday, if you want a theme, there's plenty of places to get the content, but for example, Today's, you can talk about something about mortgages, how qualifications are changing, how they're tightening up. Um, I found out last week bond money is still available. That was a, a key question to help one of my people get pre-qualified. So you can talk about, or you can interview one of your favorite mortgage lenders for a quick meeting on here on Zoom or on Facebook Live. Market, talk about market statistics, maybe for the past few days or for the past month. So that's a topic for Monday. Another one that a lot of us use is just strictly motivational Monday. Maybe it doesn't, you don't want everything to be about real estate. Tuesday, why not testimonial Tuesday? We see the uh, multi-level marketing companies do this. So why not um, have a testimonial from a past customer, I don't care if it was 20 years ago or last week, and have a testimonial and obviously um, craft it so it doesn't look like you're bragging, but make it sound like, you know, I was so happy to help this family, would love the opportunity to help yours as well. And you've got to have your contact information in there. A testimonial looks like you're just bragging. Look at me, I'm cool. Wednesday, Wednesday can be a funny again. It can be some kind of wacky, offbeat holiday. Nationalholiday.com lists all those. Um, you can use any, I just Googled real estate words that begin with W because that was a hard one. Oh, and I left off the little D under warranty deed here. Not warranty D like the person. So um, you, can, or you can do a different topic on Wednesdays. Talk about what a walkthrough inspection is. Talk about how they can weather, weatherproof their home, particularly with hurricanes coming up. Talk about what a warranty deed is, anything like that. Throwback Thursday. Why not do, instead of a picture of you and a high school friend, a picture of a design trend from the past, like those avocado appliances back in the 70s um, or something like that, and, or, you know, do you remember these? Or maybe you post something ugly from the past and then something current and, you know, then versus now. So that's an idea for Thursdays. Um, you can also do title Thursdays if you want and have um, a title person on there to talk about how to hold title um, and, and all that kind of good jazz because consumers have no clue what title is. Um, Friday fun, it could be some fun historical fact about the housing market. It could be something, um, maybe an historical home um, in your area, but you know, make something fun about it. Like maybe it's um, reputed to be haunted. You can talk about FHA mortgages, fair housing things, local family events. Again, it doesn't have to be real estate. Maybe there's um, a drive-in movie being um, held um, this Friday evening or something. You can do a fe featured home of the week or featured home of the day, including new construction. Small Business Saturday, go check in to a local, locally owned business, particularly since everybody's trying to get back on track and maybe feature the owner or at least um, feature maybe the menu if it's a, a restaurant or if it's a nail salon, maybe feature a color or something. But feature a small business to become, again, another um, trusted local resource for the community. And Sunday, it could just be, you know, spotlight. Um, again, it could be like a featured home or maybe you're doing an open house. So just an idea, but the trick to social media is consistency. Don't do Market Monday today, and then, oh, six weeks from now, you decide to do it again. It's the consistency of social media that creates the leads. But if you will do things like this, mix in real estate-related posts along with personal posts um, so that people get to know you 
And so it's not always selling, asking for business. That's how people are going to reach out to you because that's where most of my business derives the social media. And it's not because I'm posting closings or listings or real estate stuff all the time. Sometimes I'm posting real estate information and then I'm posting that I'm riding my bike or I actually finally went to dinner Saturday night for the first time in two months. But just let people into your life and get, let them get to know you because we're back to people at the end of the day want to work with people they know, like, and trust. So you got to start with them getting to know you first, right? Boom, social media. Prospecting tips. Here we go. Um, you guys know it's supposed to be a very busy season. Mr. Arthur started forming last week, sure enough, and became a named um, tropical depression off of the Jacksonville coast late Saturday, which is why we have all these huge riptides and we had over 20 freaking beach rescues because people were out there thinking that they could beat, you know, mother nature and swim through it in any event. So it formed off of um, the coast here and it's already um, going up. My parents live um, on the coast of North Carolina and I keep getting the weather alerts from the hurricane app. And sure enough, it's, um, it's beating them right now or it's about to at about um, 50 miles an hour. So it's not a hurricane, still just a tropical storm. But anyway, they're getting some some of those um, rain bands and heavy winds right now. So boom, there's the first one. So why don't you, since we're starting early this year, create a list of hurricane supplies, brand it. So make sure that your contact information is on there. And so maybe you recreate one in a Word document or PowerPoint or something, just a quick little list, but just make sure your contact information is on there. Encourage them to print it out, put it on their refrigerator, whatever. Um, or maybe you want to, create some kind of discount card with one of the local, um, perhaps a local hardware store, again, promoting local. And um, maybe there's a coupon on that, a supply list that you create with a coupon for a particular store that you know, you've gotten permission with. And so um, that, that would be a valuable tool as well. You can also email that list um, to your database and post it on social media as a JPEG. So anyway, just some ideas to Reach out to people this week. Another thing you can do in regards to storm season coming up is ask them to review their insurance policy, particularly if they have um, equity in their home, guys. If their insurance agent is not um, on top of things and does not have a database where they're reaching out to people on an annual basis for an annual review, well, that's something we can do as well. So if you're not schooled in insurance, obviously you defer them back to their insurance agent. However, you can get the conversation started by, by reminding them they should check to see that they have adequate insurance. If they've gained $50,000 in equity and they're still paying the same premium for the same amount of coverage from six years ago, then they may be sadly um, in, in a really bad spot if they go to make an insurance claim. So you can also just be the resource. Um, trim those palm trees, um, cut those dead pine trees down. Let them know, of course, that you have access to any home vendor to get their home um, home in good condition um, in preparation for the storm season coming up. So here's another question. Do you know how to find the flood zone of a property address? I um, helped an agent do this over the weekend um, as he was preparing to write his first offer. Oh, and my little screen on that didn't come through. So go to go googlefema.gov and there's a spot you can literally put in an address and it pops up a huge floodplain map, but it tells you specifically flood zone, flood zone X, flood zone XB, et cetera. And um, that's how you can go and figure out. Now, what I do is I would give the link to the prospective home buyer or current homeowner if they're looking to see if they want to purchase a policy. And we never want to quote it because then we're liable for whatever comes out of our mouth. And of course, the map could be incorrect, or we quote it wrong or what have you but FEMA.gov will give you an interactive map. And that's good. We're wrapping it up just in time today. So are there any successes? Did anybody have any um, sales or new contracts or new um, prospects from last week that we can celebrate? Um, what about anybody else we can help today? I don't think, I think I've got you all muted, and today I think I've got it set so that I can't unmute you, so ha ha ha. Um, you guys are welcome to respond to this personally later. 
So, and just as we wrap things up, obviously I am, you know, an active realtor, broker associate. I also um, focus mostly on coaching other agents. So if that's something that you want to talk about, um, and I have a um, very specific and affordable um, pay plan specifically for Florida homes agents. So there's my contact information there and we did good. We're on time. So I'm going to wrap things up for today. I will um, repost this on my YouTube and Facebook as always. And then next week we'll have brand new content. So if everybody has a good week. It's supposed to be stormy. So whatever you need to do, definitely do it now. I think before like um, they say one o'clock, you know, they never get it right. But I do think it will storm later today. So get your outside stuff done. And then maybe you want to devote your afternoon to making those prospecting calls. So I hope everybody has a good week. Take care, guys. Bye.